I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me hey, what's a up, sign I got something that sign. I think y'all need to know about um, I don't do a lot of videos like this Because um, um, there's not a lot of things that I really find like in a, a real need for Like something I really have to have Or something that never comes out of my boat But I do have things When I say never come out of my boat I mean, I travel with them uh, I think they're they're not this like need, but they're this thing that like now that I have it, I can't live without it. And when I use it, I'm always using it going, oh, I'm glad I had it. Like it's always, I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I had this thing because of certain things that happen to me on the water. Now these things that happen on the water are really strange. So of course I fish a lot of tournaments, right? So I'm always out there and when we're tournament fishing, we always want to make sure we have everything we need. But can you please tell me and anyone that's ever fished a tournament, why in the world when we fish a tournament that we could go out there for days upon days upon days and all of a sudden a tournament comes around and the weirdest, like the weirdest thing will happen to you that would never happen to you in practice, only in a tournament. What I'm talking about it usually is with your, your rod, your reel, and your line, right? You will, you will get a weird hang up or a weird knot or something like a backlash, but it would be, it's, it's going to be out of the ordinary. It's not going to be in your, like, it's not normal. I know y'all know what I'm talking about, right? You, you'll, you'll, you'll hit a dock or you'll, you'll actually, something will happen where you'll get this weird backlash, not something, and it'll mess up your entire reel, right? Line goes everywhere. It's all frayed up, whatever it might be, or your rod gets a nick in it. And all of a sudden all your line starts getting scraped up, you know? I mean, I don't know what it is, but you could go fishing for like a hundred days in a row and the next day a tournament comes along and the weirdest thing will happen. Well, that seems to happen to all of us. I know it does. Sunline makes these. This is, this is my new one. Nothing's in here. Like I just got it. It's brand new. And it's like basically a, a Sunline bag. Now, guys, I get it. If you don't use Sunline, it's no big deal, right? You don't have to put Sunline line in here i mean look it's the best line out there we all get that but you don't have to but these things are great okay and here's why and i'm gonna explain why i use these all the time and why it never leaves my boat i haven't even opened this right and this is what it looks like you know you can place these anywhere you want to right and basically these are just dividers it has things in here let me show you how to do one they kind of just velcro and you can make assortments of things on here let me show you mine this is what mine i already have one but this is what mine looks like and when i say it never comes out of my boat it never comes out of my boat this is the only reason it does this is my old one okay right here and and i love this thing this is a couple years old guys so open it up that's basically what it looks like you can see the dividers in here now what i have in here is this like i keep them all so i got 25 right 22 20 i bet you that's 18 no i got another 20 12 10 8 some braid some of that because I, I like that more braid more braid for like spinning rod stuff I have more braid in here now. My last couple of tournaments, I was frogging, I was throwing a top water, I was doing some different things. So I wanted to have more braid in there. The only thing I don't have in here is 18. I didn't have 18 in here. I might have used 18. Okay. So basically, I have every scenario on here, right? 25, 22, two sets of 20. Well, let's see, a 16, a 12, a 10, a whole bunch of braid, some 25. What kind of braid is that? Is that 60? What is that? 60, 50. What is that? More 60. Like I said, I was using a lot of braid. I wanted to make sure. So I can rig up spinning rods. I can rig up braid rods. I can rig up all kinds of stuff. And I do that because of these weird scenarios. Now you're saying, okay, well, I don't really do that on the water. I It happens to me. And the reason it happens to me is because I'll show you an example. Like here's one right here, okay? Watch what happens. All right, so here I go. Pick up my popping perch. 
I go to skipping around like it's normal, right? This is day three, by the way. Day three of the Bassmaster Open on Toledo Bend. So I'm going back between a swim jig and a pop and perch. I just make a simple cast, don't think much about it. And he gets right between like the wedge of, of the bush. And I, it is day three, I'm kind of in a hurry. So I'm like, I'll just break it. And I got mad, I couldn't break it. So, I, okay, right, I finally break it. Move on, I'm like, that's all right. I got another pop and perch, I'll just tie it on real quick, go about my day. So I do, give me another palm perch, tied it on there, right? All right, let's get back to work. And I'm, you know, I just, it, it didn't, it didn't go anywhere, right? Cause look, <laughs> right? It goes right back to where I was pulling on it. I, I, I mean, y'all saw how hard I was pulling on it guys. I couldn't, it's not budging. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So, I already know what's about to happen. I got, I got to change. And it got down there deep, didn't it? Oh yeah, that's bad. That's the worst thing about it when you got to tug something like that. I didn't think about it. That was my yeah. fault. I was, I was mad at the fact that how it was hung up. Correct. It was just it was freaking wedged. It wasn't even. So I started getting my scissors out. I'm cutting in the line. I, I'm just. And I'm in a hurry, so I'm trying to cut it all out, right? Pull it all out, cut it out. So I gotta get my line, right? Where's my line at? It's in my sunline bag, in my rod locker, okay? I'm telling you, it goes everywhere with me, guys. It has all my line in there, just for things like this. It's just a small four to five minute setback, and I'm back in business. Never leave home without it. So I'm working as fast as I can, trying to trying to get it all out. I'm usually pretty fast at this, guys. And I'm kind of laughing, going, God, you gotta be kidding me, right? Day three of the Bassmaster Open, I'm in the top 10. No big deal, though. So I get it all done, going through the guides some more, getting that all straightened out. Tying another pop and perch. I'm back in business, guys. Took less than, I don't know, at the total four minutes to do all that at the most. And I got fresh new 60 pound plasma braid on, fresh new pop and perch. I'm ready to go. Now I'll show you that example because that was in the Bassmaster Open at Toledo Bend, I believe on day two. Might even have been day three, but I think it was day two. I w I'd been throwing that pop and perch for so long, and for, all in practice, all in the tournament, I was skipping it. And when you're skipping a, a frog like that, in bushes and under trees doing that, I know I have other rods that are just like that. I have other reels that are just like that. But every reel, y'all know what I'm talking about, every reel is slightly different, just a little bit. And when you get your frog reel dialed in on skipping, it, if you change, it might take you a little while to get used to like, it, there's just something different about it, right? When you get it dialed in perfect, you know how it's gonna skip every single time. Well, I didn't wanna change reels. Um, I, I wanted to keep that same reel and just put new line on there real quick because it's all happened to us. I wasn't thinking, I was just gonna break the, my problem perch off. It wasn't even hung up in the hook. It was in the wedge of, of a V in the tree and I was just like, come on, break. And by the time I started pulling on it and pulling on it, and it, and of course, sunlight won't break. I mean, it's freaking super strong. I'm doing it more and more and more. And then it got to be like, then it got to be a battle. Like, it, right, it was a battle between me <laughs> and the bush and the braid. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to break you. And I, and I, I totally forgot about the fact of what's going to happen when I do that, right? It's going to cinch up in that reel and bog down and create it to where I can't get it out. Um, 
I guess that's a bad problem to have because your braid won't break, right? But I, 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 I was like, I'm gonna break you. Like I was determined. Like all the fishing, the Bassmaster Open, all that went away, and I was just—it was me versus the braid, and I won, right? I broke it. I really didn't win though, right? I didn't win because I ended up going, oh, that was dumb, Todd. Come on, be smarter than that. But that's my competitive side, right? I wanted to win. I knew no big deal though, so I took that braid off. I do this so much in respool line enough over the years that it's no time. Like I do all that, I, I respool. Man, I'm up in Adam in a couple minutes. Like it doesn't take me long to do it at all, especially braid. Braid's really quick. I get it all on there and I'm back to fishing again. No big deal. That's the kind of stuff that happens, right? Weird things that happen. Like I hadn't gotten hung up in the last five days, but yet in tournament day, here it comes. I also can take this bag right here. I fish a lot with my buddy, Russell, right? He's got his boat. A lot of times we're not trying to, if you fish team stuff, right? You got a lot of rods, you got a lot of reels. You try to minimize how much you bring. Co-anglers, right? Co-anglers is the same thing. Now I'm not telling you have to bring this as a co-angler. I'm just saying, if you travel around a lot as a co-angler, I would bring this, this would be my traveling bag right like to tournaments because you're gonna have everything in there so when a guy tells you hey we're gonna be doing this if you have to you can reline but I sometimes bring this with me and Russell because it's so small it, it holds all this line all this line and I can bring that and put it in his boat and I'm not I'm not bogging down his stuff that way say I have three or four rods I'd rather bring with certain line I'm like hey if worse comes to worse I can just reline right because to me it's not about how we all try to like reline our bad line or old line. That's not what this is for. Every once in a while you get out in situations where you think you're going to catch them a certain way. And next thing you know, you might, you might like start having to throw in bushes or something and you weren't prepared for that. And you break off a little bit because you're throwing in big trees or big bushes and like, you know what? 20 pounds is not going to do it. I need 25. Or maybe you're cranking around out there and all of a sudden the fish moved a couple feet deeper and you're like, Hey, I need to I need to maybe put on some 10 or 12 pound line to get my deep dive and crankbait down deeper. It, 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 you never really know because conditions change, right? And so I want to change with them and I want to have my line there, right? And so it's to me, it's way more practical to bring line than more rods and reels uh, in the sense of I already have a lot of rods and reels. Usually the chances are I have way too many. I, I don't want to bring backups to my backups. And that's essentially what you'd be doing is bringing up backups for other things. And you start bringing backups. I mean, we probably already got 10 to 15 rods we're wanting to use. We got to bring 30. Can't do it. Plus, I don't mind redoing some line every once in a while because I'm one of those guys that's kind of bad about it. I'm not a Brian Thrift. Brian Thrift changes his line every reel after every single tournament. He does. I've watched him. I've, I've, I've roomed with him. And I'm like, hey man, you didn't even make a cast with that. And he's like, I know, I gotta do it though. So he does that, well, I'm not like that. I keep a lot of this line on. I'm one of those guys that, you know, I look around, make sure no one's watching. I retie, I, you know, I wet it, retie, look around, start popping on it. If it doesn't break, I'm good to go. That's, that's how I test stuff, right? Um, I know what should break and what shouldn't break. I don't reline unless I really think I have to. Like, it, it, like it's old or whatever because i mean i got a lot of rods and reels in there sometimes i might not use them for a month or so two months three months because i'm doing other stuff and so and i don't keep track of when i put line on there last so a lot of times especially like the lines i usually retie the most are like if i know i'm gonna go swim jigging the next day and that's gonna be my primary rod and reel some i'll reline that one right but now i do that before the tournament correct like so this is what I usually bring with me. So Sunline makes this as well. I'm not even sure if they sell this. I think they do. But this is this is the bag that I use pretty much. This carries with me when I travel, travel in my truck. So I mean, I got, I, I don't even want to go through this. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's just, I got like seven things of braid there, 20. 18 18 25 22 it just did it it never ends in here when i say i've got look at this it just goes down the list of just 
all kinds of things. So that's kind of what I, that's how I prepare before the tournament, right? So I do this before the tournament, but I'm just telling you, things happen out there on the water and they're hard to explain. And I just want to make sure I'm prepared on the water. Even if you don't need this and use this, because maybe this is overkill. I don't think it's overkill, but that's a great thing to use right here. Just buy this. They're pretty inexpensive. They last forever. I've never had a problem with them. Like I said, I think this is like four or five years old. Um, I'm just glad I got my new one. I'm going to fill that one up too. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, as bad as I am about uh, being prepared and wanting to have things in the moment, I'll probably have both of those in my boat. Because here's a great thing. I forget things. We pack a lot when we travel. Sometimes, what if I forget that line? I know, no matter what, I'll have enough line here to get me through a tournament and to re-spool. Re so I'm good. Either way. Check it out, guys. Sunline's, Sunline's keeping us uh, lined up for life. Man, I like that. Lined up for life. Man, I don't even know if they have like a saying or anything like that, right? Lined up for life. I don't know, maybe they don't like that. Maybe don't use that. I don't know. Maybe Sun's Life's like, hey man, you're gonna get us in trouble saying something like that. I don't know. I like it. I'm gonna say it. How about that? Alright. See you guys. <laughs>